For Christmas, my boyfriend gave me a 23andMe kit. And I just got the results this morning, so I'm honestly like a little nervous. I've been really tempted to take a look, but I haven't yet just for you because I knew you would want to see this. So it's just going to say 100% white. So First things first, ancestry report. Northwestern European, 94.9%. .9%. French and German, 61.5%. British and Irish, 28.7%. Eastern European, 2.5%. Southern European, 1.4%. Italian, 1.4%. Jewish, 0.2%. And broadly European, 0.6%. Wow. French, German, British, Irish, Italian. DNA relatives. Let's see who am I related to. Back to ancestry. I had no I obviously I'm gonna be European. Right? I had no idea that I had French um ancestry, so that is very new to me. DNA relatives not gonna lie, I don't know any of these people. I recognize some of the last names, but I don't know any of these people. Health highlights. Let's see. This is the one that gives me the most anxiety. Um, I kind of have a little bit of hypochondria, <laughs> so, oh. Ooh, what is AMD? Most common cause of irreversible vision loss among older adults. Uh, yeah, I do wear contacts and glasses. So that's... Okay, maybe I'll go blind one day. Alright. Genetic disorders. Intellectual disability. Seizures and skin problems. What? Mm -hmm. Also, it's not saying I have it, it's just... Okay, we... Okay, people with only one variant are not expected to have PKU or a related disorder. Okay. Okay. So that's good. That's pretty much it. Let's see... What is this one? Neanderthal. Oh... What does it say? What does it say? Uh, you have one variant associated with being less likely to have a fear of heights. Well, that's not that true. <laughs> but I, I don't... It doesn't bother me. Like, I was on a waterfall the other day, and it being... It didn't really scare me at all. I think what scared me the most is that it was raining, and we were next to a high peak, and there's rocks and stuff, and... You are a better sprinter than distance runner. Interesting. You're more likely to sweat during a workout. You know, I actually don't. I go to the gym pretty regularly. Not this past week, though. For the most part, I go regularly. I don't really sweat very much. I do when I take long walks at the gym, but not, like, in a normal day-to-day -day or when I do, like, um, strength workouts. I don't ever really sweat. Having more dandruff of that. Yes. I will... I will... <laughs> I will be honest, I do have a little bit more dandruff than maybe someone else. You're less likely to blush easily. I think that's a good thing. Is that a good thing? Oh, I'm surprised I don't have this. You, you have zero variance associated with having a worse sense of direction. I have the worst sense of direction. What else you got for me? Let's see what my muscle composition is. Your genetic muscle composition is common in elite power athletes. <laughs> Am I wasting my body capabilities? <laughs> That's funny. Thankfully, it looks like I don't have a ton of health problems which is good that was the whole point that my boyfriend got me this test honestly i have a lot of hypochondria it was like i was actually like 
Look at this. Just reading this <laughs> makes me nervous. Like every click I make was just, Ooh. I don't know how I could tell um, what my diet was, but just from like some spit sample that I did back in December. But it, it's just pretty interesting to see like where I lie on like the spectrum of health and everything. And honestly, I do feel a little bit better even though I'm still shaking. Um, I do feel a little bit better knowing about like my health and everything. They repeatedly say in the app that these are not diagnoses. Diagnoses? A diagnose? I am not a healthcare professional either, but it did tell me a lot of information that could be helpful and um, maybe one day it'll be useful. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me take one more look-see. There's a 59% chance your ring finger is longer than your index finger. I think that's about the same size. <laughs> about a 50-50 chance of being able to match a musical pitch. I'd say it's about 50-50, I never really know. <laughs> Slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. You know what's interesting is that I really do like cilantro, but lately, ever since I had COVID, that's one thing that just doesn't taste the same to me, and that was over a year ago, so that was... I don't know. Likely to wake up around 8.50 a.m. How does it know that actually... That actually, like, is crazy. <laughs> oh, it's just based on my genetics. Okay, because I was like, how... Ha caffeine... Caffeine... Why, why did I say it like that? Caffeine consumption likely to consume more. Based on your genetics, you are likely to drink slightly more caffeine than average. If you drink caffeine at all, what is this? 266 milligrams per day? That's actually a lot. That's probably a lot more than I drink, to be honest. Alcohol flush reaction? People with your genetic result can typically process alcohol normally. As a result, they don't tend to flush bright red in the face or experience unpleasant symptoms like headaches and nausea after having just one drink. Lactose intolerance, likely tolerant. Well, I have news for you. I don't even eat dairy. I haven't had dairy on purpose in over five years, so not about to try. <laughs> I actually have been told that like I have become lactose intolerant as a result of not eating it very often. I haven't even heard of any of these, so it's a good thing I don't have these things. Yeah, it's saying I'm pretty healthy. I don't know why I have so much hypochondria. I am I'm stupid. Well, it looks like that is about all that we can see for now. Honestly, I think it was pretty fun. It wasn't too, like, anxiety-inducing as I thought it might be. Although I was shaking a little bit earlier, as you saw. But overall, like, that was really, really interesting and I would definitely recommend. If you're someone like me that maybe wants to know a little more about your ancestry and maybe even your health, even if you are, like, a hypochondriac, it's definitely worth it. It's super fun. I sent out the box the day after Christmas, so it hasn't even been a month since I am. Um, I'm filming this on the 23rd of January, so it hasn't even been a month that it took for the whole process to go through. Um, so yeah, like I really recommend it. It was a ton of fun. Let me know if you've ever tried it before and what you got. If there were any surprises, I'd love to hear. But uh, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.